All right, Gary here for GDC MMA. I've got Ryan Dixon here. We're going to do some quick predictions for UFC 159 this Saturday. Awesome card. Uh, I picked out six fights, I believe. Um, so uh, Leonard Garcia versus Cody McKenzie. I think this one could be, you know, whoever loses is, is out, unfortunately. Um, Leonard Garcia has had some tough luck. Uh, in the last couple of years, and Cody McKenzie has, uh, you know, not looked the greatest. Who do you think wins this one? Cody. I think uh, Cody's not great striking or wrestling, but Leonard Garcia's not good anywhere. So uh, Cody's got some some sneaky submissions where I think that's that's going to be the case in this fight. Cody's going to submit Leonard Garcia. All right, um, just to be different because uh, be sentimental, I'm going to say Leonard Garcia. I'm going to say he knocks Cody McKenzie out, so that should be a good one. All right, so um, big fan of this guy. I think he's going to tear up the division. Uh, Hostam Kabilov, I believe that's the way you pronounce it, versus uh, Yancey Medeiros. What do you think? Um, Ruslan Kabilov is... Uh I'm a big wrestling fan, and he trained in the best country in the world. He trained in Dagestan, uh, Dagestan, however you pronounce it, for wrestling, which is arguably the best wrestling room in the world. So he, I think he's going to win this fight. He trains at Jackson's, which uh, they're going to make him well-rounded, but his wrestling is just going to destroy this guy. Yeah, I have to I have to stay with you on this one. This guy's unbelievable. If you guys haven't seen him yet, check him out. Um, he's going to tear up the division. He is an amazing wrestler. Okay, this fight, super excited about this one. There's a lot of trash talk on the net, and uh, I think it's going to be a really interesting fight. Alan Belcher versus Michael Bisping. I think that Bisping is going to win, but the way that he says he's going to win is not going to happen. He, they're chirping each other, saying they're going to knock each other out, but uh, the only one that could knock the person out is Belcher, but I think Bisping is going to outpoint Belcher in this fight. Damn, that's that's exactly the way I'm going too. I was hoping we'd be a little bit different, but yeah, I I think uh, you know I think the same thing. I don't think the knockout in the first round is going to happen, so I think they're both keeping their cars. But uh, I do think that the overall game, I think he's going to mix it up. I think he's going to strike in and take Belcher down a little bit. Um, and I think that uh, Michael Bisping is going to win. Okay, so this fight's exciting too. Pat Healy coming over from Strike Force back in the UFC. So you've got Pat Healy versus Jim Miller. Uh, Jim Miller looked like a beast last fight, so I'm going to go with Jim Miller. These guys are pretty much the same style. Um, both are tough, uh, grinding wrestlers that have very well-rounded games, but Jim Miller's striking was taking was taken to a next level last fight, so uh, I think he's going to have a, a big advantage in the striking and everything else is going to be the same, so I'm, I'm going with Miller. Nice. Okay, um, I'm going to be different and say that Pat Heal is going to take this one. I'm going to uh, stick on the strike force train that's been doing quite well, and uh, I'll take Pat Healy. Um, interesting fight. Um, Czech Congo versus Roy Nelson. Um, Czech Congo, as of late, hasn't been in the good graces of the UFC brass, so we'll see what he does here. He better come out and be exciting, I think. Um, who do you think wins? The only way that Czech can win is by knockout, and Roy has stupid chin. Like, the guy just can't be knocked out. Um, Junior laid a beating on him for three uh, rounds and couldn't do it, so I think Roy Nelson's going to probably take him down and beat him up on the ground. Yeah, I think, I, you know, there was stuff going around. Daniel was talking about how Czech Congo um, said no to a couple fights. And I don't know why he'd agree to this fight. Or maybe he just didn't have a choice. He probably said, you take this fight or, or else kind of thing. But uh, worst fight in the heavyweight division for him, I think, personally. I mean, ex except against the champion or Dos Santos, maybe. I don't know. But, um, yeah, bad news for Congo. I, I'm a fan of his, and I think he's going to get destroyed in this fight. Okay, so the top two fights. This one's awesome because of all the trash shock that's going on. Phil Davis versus the BJJ pro Vinny Mahalesh. Megalesh. <laughs> How do you think? Um, I think Vinny's going to win. I think uh, Vinny has to win by submission, though, because uh, Phil's. There's no way Vinny's going to outpoint Phil, but uh, I think Vinny's going to catch him. I think he's taking his back and choking him out. Yeah, um, I'm not far off with you on this one. Um, I do think Davis has a chance to win. 
um, especially if he keeps some distance and, and, and strikes, but he's still not the greatest when it comes to that. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm going to go with you on this too. I think Vinny gets another submission. Um, and the final match, the big main event, the, the fight we've all been waiting for months and months and months. Uh, the coaches of the Ultimate Fighter, John Jones, the champion, versus Chael Sonnen. What do you think, man? I think it's a repeat of, uh, well, no. I think it's a, a repeat in the sense that it's going to be a win for Jones and another loss for Chael. But it's going to be a lot more decisive than the Anderson fights. I think John Jones just destroys Chael first round TKO. Yeah, um, I, I think John's a little bit pissed off here, but I think one thing to mention is, you know, people are looking at it like it's, you know, Chael's not even in the same weight class, and, and it, that's false. You know, um, Chael is a big man, and to fight at middleweight, he had to, you know, be really strict with his diet. I know he even got Dolce on at the end there. Now you can see him on Tuesday nights in the UFC desk. He's a huge dude. He's ballooned up. He's gained a whole bunch of weight on the Ultimate Fighter. He's on TRT. He's ripped. He is a strong, strong man. So don't think that he's going in there at a waist, uh, weight disadvantage. Or if anybody does, I don't think that's the case. I think he's even going to be heavier than John Jones. So that being said, I don't really think it'll it'll do much. At the end of the day, John Jones has you know the best reach in the UFC, and he uses it amazingly well. He's got the wrestling to back himself up and he's got vicious elbows, man. I think he's going to change things up. He's going to take Chael down and rain those elbows and it'll be over pretty quick, unfortunately. But, uh, you know, I think after that, Chael's probably going to retire and uh, sit behind the desk and he's amazing at what he does. Um, if you're not a fan of his, I, 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 don't, I don't know what's wrong with you. That being said, we both picked John Jones. UFC 159 this Saturday. That's it for us. Garrett, Ryan Dixon, Peace.